Well, I am standing still in Times Square. Look, busted LED. Here's a public service announcement for you. First of all, I need you to look at this huge King Kong and Transformer. You see these? Everybody needs to make a living. Bless your heart for doing that job. I'm pretty sure that whatever money you're making is tax free. Good for you. I, I'm not judging anybody doing that. But I will say, no matter what's going on in my life today, I am not standing in the heat in Times Square in a King Kong suit. And when the sun is out, oh Lord, I feel for those people. I feel, oh my God, look, back to the future. I hear it's very good. Anyway, here's my public service announcement. Now, whenever I see these folks in these costumes, and there's also usually at least seven mini mice, mini mice in a clump over here with their heads off, talking to each other in a clump, waiting to like attack tours and take pictures. I know that they're not going home every day and dry cleaning that costume. I am also fairly certain that they're not going home and completely laundering that costume every night. So here's the thing. Having done Broadway wardrobe forever, I, I think I've talked about this before. When we have costumes that we do not launder every night, say things like underwear, every day you get fresh, every show you get fresh underwear, thank God. Socks, bras, tights, any of that stuff, hugging the body, fresh every show, thank God. Things like shirts in the show. We may go one performance and it gets washed and there's a double, or it may go two shows, or it may go four shows, maybe once a week, depending on the sweating, depending on what you're doing in the shirt. But things like jackets, coats, hats, vests, pants, they're not gonna get washed every day. They're not gonna get dry cleaned every day, certainly. So what do we do if there's sweat at all? We use cheap vodka in a spray bottle. Yes, cheap vodka in a spray bottle. And you spray it and put it over a fan, if you can get to a fan. Because sweat has bacteria, which causes odor. Alcohol will kill the bacteria, vodka and it evaporates quickly, taking the perspiration with it. So whenever I see these folks out here, let's get another look at King Kong over there. Do you see that? Part? I mean, it looks small from here, but that is like an eight foot tall thing. I always wanna say, I hope to God you have a spray bottle of vodka back at your house. Because my fear is they take the thing off, they chuck it in the bag, they drag it home and fall down exhausted, get up the next day, drag it in here and probably climb into it smelly and wet. I feel for these folks. I hope I'm wrong. So there's your public service announcement as I stop in Times Square, I, something I never do. That's how much I love you. Uh, also, let's look at those stairs back there, the big red stairs that have been there for years and years and years. Here's the thing about the stairs. You notice that nobody's on them today? I'll tell you why. Whenever it rains and the stairs get wet, they're slick as feck. So you can't be on them because it's a lawsuit waiting to happen in Times Square. So to whoever designed those stairs that are slick as fuck whenever they get wet, kudos. I hope you made a lot of money. This is why Times Square is a place that New Yorkers walk through and not linger in. But I love you just that much, and I also have a couple of minutes to spare today, to stop, take it in, ugh, and send the message to you. Get some vodka in a spray bottle, avoid the slippery stairs, and, uh, Come to New York and see a show. Maybe Back to the Future. I hear it's very good. All right, bye.